Hey everyone, Brandon Boner for here. We're getting ready to kick off 2020, and if you're like me, you're thinking about 2020 and how you're gonna make a huge difference in your life. Today, we're gonna to talk about digital planning. Maybe it's something you've been doing for a while or something you've been exploring with, but today we're gonna to talk about two essential things that you need for digital planning. We're gonna talk about an app called GoodNotes and a planner that I developed called the Key to Success. The Key to Success Planner is a planning system that helps you not only accomplish your daily appointments and tasks, but really achieve those goals that you want to strive for in 2020. So let's jump into Good Notes and take a look at the planner, and I'll give you some tips and tricks how to be effective in planning for 2020. All right, in this video, we're going to start by opening Good Notes. We're using GoodNotes 5 here. And if you have already installed my planner, uh, this is what you're gonna see for a cover page, the 2020 Key to Success Planner. Now, this uh, planner gives you the options to maybe write uh, something in here if you'd like, your name, personalize it. Something can go right here on the cover if you choose to. Maybe you're one of those individuals where you, know, you don't necessarily like this cover. You can go ahead and you can actually pull up this page and you can go ahead and uh, delete this page if you choose to just by doing that and that would delete it. So once you actually load the planner itself, the second page you're gonna see is just a, a brief little introduction about the community that we have here. Also in here is links to our Facebook page as well as our YouTube, LinkedIn, and podcast. If you guys are not already subscribed to our YouTube or listening to any of our podcasts, now would be the time to connect with us. We're gonna go through a lot of different things over the course of the next year, showing you how to use this planner and just use the planning tools that we have to find your key to success. So the very first page that you're going to see in the planner is the annual keys. Now, in a recent blog post that we did, we really dived in to these annual keys, but really what we did is we summed up four areas of our life, self, relationships, community, and career. These are four development areas that we think are very critical to you becoming successful. On this page, this is kind of like your landing pad. This is how you're gonna kind of kick off the year. You're gonna brainstorm the big ideas, the big things that you wanna accomplish. As you can see under my career section, one of my brainstorming topics was recruit a general manager. Once you go ahead and do the brainstorming in these sections, you're gonna to wanna to make a statement in the goal section. And in that statement, you're also going to list your motivation for this goal. So here I put down recruitment manager. This will allow me to focus more on business development. So these are the big ideas. These are the things that you're gonna to wanna to accomplish throughout each quarter of the year. These are the key things that are gonna make you successful in the coming year. And we start the planner off right with that. As you're moving through the planner yourself, you're gonna see the notes section in the beginning of the planner. And then we get to our first quarterly keys. We look at each quarter and we say, which annual keys do we want to gravitate towards the center? Which ones do we want to really hone in and focus on? And we can brainstorm which ones are going to make the most impact and then put those into our key planner and then organize those by how we want to move through them in this quarter. Kind of a 90 day plan for success. Uh, it also breaks down where your priorities are, how do you organize those priorities, uh, where some of your tasks and objectives are, as well as gives you a progress report. And I always think it's important to reflect on our progress. So this will be your first quarter, and there's a quarterly key essentially in every single quarter. Now, if you guys have not had a chance to peruse through the planner itself, on the right side here, there is hyperlinks. That takes you to each month throughout the year. Quick way to navigate, so if you wanted to get to April, you could do so. And then on these pages here, each one of these pages are hyperlinked as well. So if we wanna to get to April 7th, we click on here, it's gonna take us right to April 7th. Now another awesome feature about some of the hyperlinking in this planner is we have a quick uh, hyperlink to our keys, our goals, our meetings, our projects, our notes, and then our weekly progress report, as well as an external link that takes us to local news and weather. And then here we also have the individual month. So we're on Tuesday the 7th, but if we wanna to get to Thursday the 9th, we can click right here and that'll take us right to the 9th. So all of these pages are hyperlinked as well. So jumping back to the beginning of the year, January, here you can see our add a view for the month. On this page is one for each month throughout the year. A quick way for you to write notes 
uh, throughout the month. So here you can say, you know, if you got uh, in good notes here, if you have a New Year's party, you can go ahead and put New Year's party right on here. If you an individual likes to highlight, you can do so like that. And a quick erase will allow you to erase that. You can also write, write important dates down the side of the planner. Good tip and good notes here whenever you want to come in and off writing a 10 so you can click this little button here. Now we're looking at January 1st. Now I'm not so worried about January 1st. I want to jump to the beginning planning pages that we have. So we have a weekly planning page. And if you watched any of our videos before, you know a little bit about this, but I'll kind of quickly take you through it. But essentially with a weekly planning page is where you kind of plan your week and kind of figure out where you're going to be most invested. So I always like to reflect on my accomplishments. What did you accomplish in the previous week? What are some of the rolling projects and tasks that are unfinished that are important to this week? As well as what are some of the things that are occupying your mind or keeping you off attention? It's always good to indicate those things because I think when you can indicate what's kind of occupying your attention, it allows you to better structure where your priorities are so you can maintain focus. Also, it's always good to reflect on self-improvement each and every week, and this is an area to do so. These two areas are very important to success, I feel. We're always looking for new opportunities. Who's going to make the difference? What's going to make the difference? And who are those connections that are going to help us get there? Kind of once you get through that piece there, I like to look at this planning board and kind of brainstorm my ideas, where my focus is at, what are the things on my plate for the week, and kind of just put those in a rough sketch. Then, moving over to the right side here, taking that brainstorming section, prioritizing the different things that are on our board for the week in each one of the four development areas. And then from there, indicating which one of those has the most important factors in our week, and what are some of the tasks that we can either delegate or assign. And then this here is a quick at a glance. And this I think is important because this kind of allows you to shell game the entire week and see uh, what you want to accomplish. And I'll show you a neat trick here in a few minutes on how you can do a side by side view in Good Notes so you can kind of plan out this page and then break it into your daily weeks. The next page you're going to see here is the daily pages. Uh, we start out each daily page with uh, a focus for today. What is most important? What's gonna have most of your attention? Maybe, for example, you wanna nail through a couple projects, maybe you got some at-home assignments, maybe you have a work project, maybe you're looking to do sales, or just simply organize some of the projects that your staff needs to work on. And then we look at these daily key threes. These are the most important goals in your, your day. I always tell people, the reason why I put this planner together is because I used to have endless to-do list, but at the end of the day, sometimes I didn't feel like, even though I made check boxes through that to-do list, I didn't feel like I truly accomplished something. And this is where I came up with the daily key three. These are the three tasks, action steps, things that you're gonna focus on. So no matter if it's nine o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock at night, when you are able to check the box on these three areas, one, two, three, when you've marked all three of those areas, you have a feeling of accomplishment. You set out and you met your goals for today and you got those things done. I also say that usually one of these keys or a multiple of these keys should reflect what your focus is for today. And I always tell people that when you're actually doing your planning, maybe one of your keys is ABC. Okay, well, whatever ABC is, maybe it'd be good for you to go ahead and write in what ABC is down here and plan for it. I always tell people sometimes some of these tasks that we take on have some time that need to be committed to them, and it's always good to put those right here in your daily time. In addition to having this, we also have our daily to-dos. These are the things that, you know, maybe they're pop-up tasks that we need to do or just little things we need to mark off our list. It's always good to have a nice list of things available for us here. We have our two pre-flight and routine check boxes. Now we're gonna talk about that in an upcoming episode, really talking about what is uh, a morning pre-flight and what is a morning ritual. We're also gonna talk about what is an evening ritual and an evening pre-launch. Those are things that we're gonna talk about in our tools development on how to maximize each and every day. On the right side of the page here, you're gonna see a note section. Throughout the day, we all need a spot to write notes and to gather ideas, maybe it's even simply journaling for the day, this is a good spot to do that. And on this page, we've added in the PDF version, a meal planner, as well as a health and exercise. So if you're someone like me, I like to track how many glasses of water I'm drinking through the day, 
just to make sure I stay refreshed. I did not accomplish that yet today, but if I did, that's how it would look. Now, if you like to do a little something more fun, you can definitely highlight those. One thing that's nice about GoodNotes, you have the functionality of having a couple different writing styles as well as having a couple different color options. So if you wanted to maybe go ahead and do this in blue, you could write that in blue and have that as one of your presets or black. I find sometimes as I'm writing stuff in my calendar, I will go ahead and write everything in black, but then I'll use different colors for highlighting to indicate if it's a personal activity, if it's a work activity, if it's something that's a hard schedule or something that's a open schedule in my time block, I like to use the highlighter to do that. And then at the bottom of the page, we have calls and opportunities. This is a good spot. Maybe you got to make an appointment call. Maybe you got to call on a customer. Maybe there's a vendor you need to reach out to. Maybe there's just an old friend you want to connect with. Good spot to do that and connect with those individuals, as well as where's the opportunities for today. When you're looking at your goals and what's going to take off for you, each and every day you should have a few opportunities that come from the day to help move you forward. And sometimes those opportunities are simply completing some of those daily key three activities that you have over there. So you can see you can kind of go through the whole week just like that and utilize those keys. Now jumping over to some of the things you want to talk about anytime that you're on this page, if you click on weekly, it's going to take you back to that weekly development page for that week. So it's a quick way to reflect on uh, what it was. I promised you that we would show you kind of a way to do a side by side. If you go ahead and pop up your toolbar here, you can go ahead and click on this and drag it just like that. And now what you see is you have your side by side. So we're on week of January 6th here. We could put our timetable down here. And if we wanted to, these pages here aren't numbered, but for the sake of it, I'm just going to put them down here for you. So we have the 6th through the 10th. So you can go ahead and you've maybe had an appointment here. Maybe you had to go to the dentist. You write that there, block off that time. Maybe like I said, if you want to highlight, you could do that. So, and then on the right side, you can do the same thing and you can now put that time in there and block it off. And then that way you got your quick out of view look. And if you look here, it's updating in real time in both notebooks, even though it's the same notebook, we're just doing side by side, which is a really nice feature. And then close that, you can just go like that and it'll close the window back up for you. So a couple other things I wanna show you in this PDF planner. We talked about on the right side, anytime you hit, hit the home button, it's gonna take you back to that annual planning session. You can jump quarter by quarter and look at the individual keys. We also have our goals page. Now what this is, is once you develop those annual keys and you break down your quarterly keys, these are goal pages that we have designed to help you kind of think through each one of your goals, if it be for the quarter or for the year. We break apart that goal summary here. What's the classification and development area that it falls under? Again, what is that reason for that goal? What's the motivation? brainstorm what you need to do to accomplish that goal, outline your action steps, and then I think this is probably one of the most important parts, is remind yourself what does a reward look like by having success in that goal. One of my annual goals was to recruit a general manager. For me, if I was able to get through this goal and be able to have more time as a milestone to work on the business development, being able to see that through just means that I'll have that much more time to put more effort into other things and help develop other areas of my career or my relationships that are just going to be that much more important to me and, and it's good to remind yourself that. Also on the left side here we have the ability to jump into meetings. Our meetings page has kind of went through a couple years of changes. I think we have it down to something I think that's really helpful right now. Uh, if we look over here on the left side of the panel, quick spot for a quick outline of your agenda, who's attending, a sketchboard, we all like to doodle, and sometimes when we're preparing for a meeting or we're having a pre-meeting flight plan, it's good sometimes to sketch what that might look like. Below here is a spot where you can outline some projects that maybe came out of the meeting and some tasks that came from that meeting assignment. On the right side is a good spot for just general note-taking of that meeting, and then a meeting recap. I always like to take a moment and reflect on what happened in that meeting, what was accomplished, maybe what could I do to improve the next meeting, if I'm meeting with a staff, a partner, a vendor, or a customer, and then what brought us on track, what took us off track, and what really made a difference. And then here is a good spot here to update when there's gonna be some follow-up to this meeting. 
every meeting for the most part if it is successful means there's progress and with progress you need to have follow-up and this is a spot to do that you can also see there's a spot for action steps and again these things all tie into our bigger plans project page planning board for it indicates four areas of projects now you could have four areas of projects you could have four project teams you could have four project individuals or you could have basically sub projects of a bigger project listed in here action steps task sketchboard and notes makes this a pretty universal page for work planning and then last is our notes page so you can easily jump through the book and see all those pages and and write with them uh, people always like to see a couple things when we're doing these is they want to see how is handwriting now i'm going to turn the ipad a little bit for you and zoom in and i'm just going to show you kind of what handwriting looks on here one thing with handwriting in planners and the reason why we have a handwritten note planner you naturally are more committed to the notes when you handwrite them. A lot of times people want to see how handwriting looks in here. I'm just going to write Tom likes fish. Don't ask why that's a sentence I'm choosing today, but that is a sentence we're choosing. Some people like to ask me, well, how does it look to type in here? Well, you can see Tom likes fish. And we've done the best job that we could to make sure that the space in the fonts works inside the PDF notation on here. I think we've done a pretty good job. I will tell you from time to time the alignment over a couple over a couple of sentences does kind of come off. You can readjust that size a little bit and better space it. Other thing you can do is you can simply start another text box um, when the alignment gets off a little bit. Again, this isn't really meant for a diary. It's meant for note taking and you kind of get the idea that's how it looks. You can go ahead, you can highlight over any of the type or the text and see how that looks as well. But that's, in a nutshell, what this planner looks like. What really sets this planner apart, people, is it's not just a day running tool. It's not just something for writing down your appointments and where you need to be and what you need to do, but it really is something that we've designed to help you through your success by indicating what those annual keys are, determining each quarter what you're gonna focus on, expanding out those goals so you're able to make the most of them, and then going into each and every week and talking about what is your weekly plan and then putting that in writing and putting that into kind of a marching order for that week. Uh, you, I'll kind of let you peek over at my planner for a minute. I do use this every single day. But you can see real quick, this is what my planner looks like for today. You can see here I have a breakout of what my week looks like here. And then you can see how I reflect that uh, through the week as we go. And then you can add note pages into the planner if you choose to, if you need more. But that's essentially how the planner works. It is something that we really love. We use it ourselves in our organizations and it's allowed us to grow over the last couple of years pretty rapidly and accomplish a lot of goals. Guys, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this planner with me. Well guys, there you have it. That in a nutshell is the key to success planner and using that planner in an app called GoodNotes. Guys, if you like this video and you wanna follow me in the 2020 and learn more about the different planning programs and tools that we've built into this planner, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you wanna learn more about my story, go ahead and watch this whole video. At the end, there'll be a thumbnail to get you kind of behind the scenes on how we came up with this planner. And throughout the year, we're going to be diving in to different aspects of the planner, really discovering some of those tools to really make the most out of your success. So please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, slam that bell for notifications, and guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.